I'm going to show you how to make some adjustments to your script so it's easier for your reader to get what you're trying to say. We're going to talk about changing the default font to Courier Prime, how to bold scene headings, and how to deal with text messages. First of all, let's talk about italics and Courier Prime. This single word is, is italicized, and it's really easy to miss. Italics have only recently come into acceptance and it would be so easy to miss this. So the first thing to do is change your default font to Courier Prime. Courier Prime has a slightly different shape and the italics are much more distinct. So I'm going to go up to Format and Elements. I can choose anything, but let's just choose Action for now. I'm going to go to Font. I'm going to set the font to Courier Prime. Hit OK. And this is very important, apply font size to all elements. Click that and then hit OK. So now you can see it still looks like Courier, but the, see how that's slightly more rounded? It's a small word, it's two letters. So if you want to be safe, go the traditional route of underlining it. Okay. Let's see, that whole thing is italicized. It's a little easier to see. Okay. Now let's talk about bolding our scene headings. This is optional. I like to use it because again, it signals the brain we're in a new scene. Your script reader is skimming. It just subconsciously, they get used to seeing it and it's sort of like a palette cleanser. Format, elements, go to scene heading, choose font, set font, and I'm going to change it to bold. I hit okay and then I hit, I don't click that, it's only for scene headings that are gonna be bold, and I hit okay. So now they're automatically bolded. You don't have to go through your entire 100 page script and manually do it. So now all of my scene headings are bold. Okay, now let's talk about text messages. First of all, any text that shows up in your script, whether it is a super, a title card, uh, a text in this case, or a sign that the audience and the reader has to read, that text must be in quotes. So if you have a super, you have to tell us what is in the super and it must be in quotes. Dad, where are you? Okay, now this is okay. I'm reading it, it's pretty easy to read, but again, you wanna make it as easy on the brain to absorb instinctively what they're looking at. And that's why we like to use the text element. You've got to create it yourself. So we're going to go up to Format, Elements. I'm going to create a new element. It's going to call text. You could put in a shortcut key if you wanted to. That's fine. But let's just do this for now. Okay, I'm creating the new element. I'm going to go over to Paragraph. And I'm going to give it the same margins as Dialog. which is 2.5 inches on the left margin and six inches on the right. I'm gonna hit okay. Now, see, I can do that. So I'm going to go and I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna change it to text. Go here, I'm gonna change it to text. So you see, it just stands out on the page more readily. And again, you're giving the reader, their brain, the signal, and it's much easier on the page to absorb.